Hey guys, and welcome back. I know I've been gone for a very long time, but I have very good reasons about that, actually. Um, what was it? The last time I made a video, I think it was back in August when I was getting ready for my surgery. And so, long story short, cut to the chase, y'all. I'm pregnant. I am five months pregnant right now. 21 weeks to be exact and I actually found out the day of my surgery. I went in August 20 was it August? Yeah. I think it was August 27th. I went in for surgery. Um I went to the back, got ready, all that good stuff on the I don't even know all these medical terms, the bed, I guess you could say. I was on the bed. And then they're like, oh, well, you know, you're really young, so we're just going to have to do a pregnancy test. And I'm just like, but why? Like, I know I'm not pregnant, so y'all should just get on with my surgery because I'm already uh, scared. But anyways, they're like, no, you know, you're young. You're like in your 20s, so you need to get a pregnancy test. And I was like, okay, whatever. So they gave me a pregnancy test, guys. Guys. I waited so long, sitting in that room by myself, just waiting and waiting and waiting. And they're like, oh, do you have anybody with you? And I was like, oh, yeah, my boyfriend and my dad are out there. So they told him to come in. And I'm like, okay. So now we're all just in there waiting. And, you know, at this time, they still don't even know what's going on. Because they're like, yo, why is Justin just sitting here? Like, shouldn't she be in surgery by now? Um. So the lady, the lady comes back, and she's just like, oh, um... Yeah, so you're not getting your surgery today because you're pregnant. And I'm like, ah, uh, lady, first of all, you could have pulled me to the side and told me that. Like, you told me that in front of my boyfriend. Okay, that's fine because he was going to, you know, find out anyways. But my dad is right here. I'm, I'm freaking out right now. I'm just like, you know, but I kept the cool. I was sitting there. I was like, oh. Okay. And they're like, so yeah, you know, you can just get dressed and go home. And I'm like, okay. So, after we get the news, guys, I'm sitting there. My dad is sitting next to me. And he's just, you know, for some reason, he's quiet, which is scaring me to death. But he's, he's quiet. He's just, you know, he's chilling, just chilling. I'm over here like, yawn, you know, because yawn's sitting on the other side of the bed, and I'm just like, yawn. When we get home, homie, like, we are planning an escape route. I am packing my bags. We are leaving because I'm not about to deal with this drama that my mama and my daddy about to bring to us. I was scared. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, my God, guys. Like, this is really happening. But besides all of that, we, we, we're leaving. We get to the parking lot and my dad's like, hey, so um, congratulations, guys. You know, how do you feel about it? Are you happy or what? And like, you know, Jan's like, you know, well, I'm really happy and I love your daughter. So, you know, I think this is a really good stuff for us. You know, I'm just quiet. I'm still like dreading everything. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. So I'm just, you know, I didn't say nothing. I literally just didn't say nothing. And my dad's like, well, you know what? I'm kind of hungry. Like, let's go to Denny's. And I'm just like, this is not like him at all. I'm really scared now because he acting weird. Talk about something. I'm hungry. Let's go to Denny's when he just found out that I'm pregnant. Like, <sighs> okay. So Yon's like, yeah, yeah, Papa. Like, I'm, I'm hungry too. Like, let's go. So we just, we all go to Denny's. So yeah, guys. So that's. That's how I found out. I found out on August 27th, the day of my surgery, that I'm pregnant. That's why I have not had surgery. That's why I haven't been on here either. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to start talking about like what has been going on these last five months, how I've been feeling, how I've been doing, how this has affected my MG and everything. So A lot of questions that I have been getting is have I been having morning sickness and the answer to that is like 
I don't even know how to even explain morning sickness. Like, is it just the sense of being feeling sick? Not necessarily in the morning, but just in general. Or you actually, like, regurgitating. Um, but for me, it's like, no. Like, I, I mean, I felt nauseous. I mean, I guess you could call that morning sickness. But I've been nauseous practically throughout my entire pregnancy. I'm always nauseous throughout the day. But I've never, I haven't like actually thrown up or anything which to me is like it kind of sucks because you know, like when you feel the earth throw up you can't it sucks it sucks so much but yeah that's just what i've been going through um yon on the other hand he had oh god it was horrid like i feel like he took on my morning sickness he was sick for like a whole week two weeks like he couldn't he didn't like he didn't even go to work like i think that's just goes to show why men do not have kids or do not have babies because women we get morning sickness and we gotta suck it up and still go to work still gotta do this still gotta do that and then they get morning sickness oh oh my god i can't i can't like oh my gosh like i i couldn't i couldn't deal with it but he was, it was just so bad. He was throwing up all day long. Sorry if this is too much information for y'all, but that's just the way it was. And I'm just sitting there like, ooh. Yeah. I'm sorry, baby. I'm, I'm so sorry you have to go through this. And he's like, well, why can't you go through it? And I'm just like, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know, but I'm not. And I'm sorry, but. Honestly, I was kind of happy that it was him, not me. I don't know if that's bad. Is that bad for me to say? Is that bad? I don't know. I'm just happy about that. Um, fears. I don't know. I guess the fears that I have, honestly, is... At first, I didn't have any fears. But then, you know, I went to the doctor. I went... No, Yon went to go get blood drawn. And then the um, lady taking his blood was talking about how she had two kids and the labor was just horrid and you know she got epidural and then she was just telling us like dude like that stuff was like it was great like it relieved her but then I'm thinking in my head because then Ashley she was telling me she was like you know epidurals hurt and I'm just like girl you was like 18 how do you know what an epidural feels like and she was like well you know because they have to stick you with numbing medicine like twice or three times before they actually use the epidural needle like what like because i didn't even know that like i knew like an epidural like them needles are like <coughs> this big going into your spine but i didn't know they had to like still inject you with like numbing medicine i thought they just put some stuff on your back and kind of like numbed it a little bit but no girl no they so i what did i do i came home and then i started like uh, to me, I said I was preparing myself. Now that I think about it, I was actually torturing myself because I went on YouTube and I looked up like uh, full length epidural videos. I was like, what the freak? I'm like, yo, I don't know what's worse having contractions, going into active labor, or getting the epidural shot. Cause that looked like it hurt. It looked like it hurt. I even put it on my Facebook. I was like, y'all, after seeing this video. I am determined to keep this baby in me for the rest of my life. Because that don't look fun at all. No, it does not. It does not look fun. <coughs> mm, sorry.